Good morning and happy Easter. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. Peter is out on a 13 mile run. I am baking some blueberry muffins. I have gone with the wind on. This is a, a tradition I feel like only I have taken part in, even back at my mom's. Um, I like to watch Gone with the Wind on Easter, so I decided to watch it while Peter was out, and then we can put on something we both wanna watch um, a little bit later, but I will show you the blueberry muffins. So we used this gluten-free muffin mix from Whole Foods, and then instead of an egg, instead of using aquafaba this time, I made flax eggs, which um, are just a little bit more fitting for something like muffins, and oat milk instead of normal milk, and vegetable oil instead of butter, and I am going to add fresh blueberries to these, and then throw them in. Here are the muffins. They are, I wish I would have left them in a little bit longer, but they um, they are cooked all the way through. Put a little brown sugar on top. I'm gonna put some vegan butter on them and finish my movie. Good morning, look at that. I got my muffins. We got the next movie lined up, which is gonna be super long. One of my run, did not do half marathon, did six and a half miles, but I'm gonna steal my, a quote from my buddy Steve who stole the quote from somebody else. <laughs> but I ran easy today so I can run hard later. It was just humidity really kicked up in Florida. The dew point was really kicking up. And I was just like, you know what, it's it's Easter. I got I went out and got some miles in and that's the important part. So I came home, oh took a shower, got myself dressed up for the Easter holiday even though we're not going out. I bought Easter Parade on Apple TV for six bucks. So after we're done with Gone with the Wind and after 10 Commandments, we'll watch Easter Parade, classic. Highly suggested, but we're FaceTiming um, Sarah's mom, and then we're just chilling and eating lots of food. And we're gonna get started with some roni sauce soon. It's gonna be a good day. Happy Easter, everybody. So it is 11.50. I'm going to start the sauce now so that it can cook for like two hours-ish before we can pile the stuffed shells and eat all day long. That's our plan. Alrighty, here is the start of the sauce um onions garlic pepper salt just a tiny bit of salt because the sausage is salty on its own we used beyond brand spicy italian sausage i ground two links up and then i kept two links salad they have bigger pieces of sausage in the sauce and it smells so good so now it's 12 50 full hour and everything is finally all in um, I'm just gonna let it cook. I think I'm gonna edit the vlog now, maybe get ready for the day. Just a little bit more put together for Easter, but it's just gotta cook and cook and cook. We'll get the noodles and the cheese that will go inside. It is all plant-based. Um, ready soon too. I'm doing something fancy on this Easter. Oh gosh. And with that, I beat the game. Wow. Eight-year-old Peter is very proud. Very proud Peter in about a week. I am the essence of the dry wars. I did it. Pish, I just broke it. I'm hungry, I have a headache. You had a headache? Yeah, I maybe I waited too long to drink my tea because of caffeine addiction. Did Gone with the Wind finish? Yes, yeah, so should we do Easter Parade first or Ten Commandments? Ten Commandments. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You want to like actually sit and watch Easter Parade? Yeah. Wait, look at this good stretch. Alright, I have a splitting headache, but I edited the vlog. Sarah's going to spot check it and do the date thing and then confirm it. It's a quick simple one. It wasn't anything mm -hmm. too fancy, so we can get that exporting. I have a really bad headache though. I am 
I'm getting close to getting like assembling the shells, and then hopefully we'll be able to eat all the dinner. I got the what garlic the bread. There's one cheese. It's show them, show them, show them. Okay. So this one has the vegan regatta cheese as well as um, vegan mozzarella cheese. I'm not a huge fan of the mozzarella, so I made a version where it's just the regatta. There is um, some aquafaba in there as well as parsley and some garlic. The shells are cooking away, as is the sauce. I think this is like hour two of cooking it. Key Italian holiday trick. And I shouldn't say it's an Italian trick, it's just because my family growing up had no heritage compared to when I started dating Sarah and being around her family for holidays, is to have hot soapy water ready and clean the dishes as it goes. I did a batch while Sarah was getting stuff ready. I'm going to do the next set after we get the, the shells stuffed and in the, the oven to bake. I'm going to do the next set so that like when we go into plating and having the dinner, we're all looking good. And, and then you don't get overwhelmed with your dishes. And I took Excedrin and my head still hurts, but I can feel the caffeine raging through my system right now. So I'm feeling kind of good right now. Did you show us sausage? I didn't. These are the bigger hunks of sausage. I also like just having like a little bit of sauce on the side to dunk -a -dunk, -a. dunk a dunk a bread. Just put more on your plate if you need it. So, like that. Oh my word, I thought we weren't going to have enough. But there are 24 shells with mozzarella. And then this half has just the regat. And there's 15 of those. So we have like almost 40 shells. And plenty of sauce and plenty of sausage. Are you hungry? Very hungry, very excited. Um, did we explain why we did half without mozzarella? Yeah, I kind of know that you just said that like we're not crazy about the mozzarella. We're also worried about it turning it into straight oil. Yeah, so we just wanted to be careful and had an option in case. Also, the commandments is Blast. raging. Ooh, someone's got themselves a little dolled up for Easter with a little Easter dress. Yeah. Also, I chopped up the stuff for the classic Sarah salad and she's jooping it up, as we say. I mean, I normally think it's my classic salad, but... No, it's the family will, classic salad. I will salad. give props to the family, but I will make it for all of my days. I chop it up, Sarah jupes it up, teamwork makes the dream work. And also, we just pulled this out of the oven. Look at that delicious looking food! Evers, today has been such a, a hard day for her as she just paces waiting for something to drop. But we dropped nothing for you. Oh my gosh, I'm salivating. I haven't had a meal like this. I mean, it's crazy because it's going to taste so much like the real deal and I know it's not, but it's just like, feels so good to eat. And I have a peps, like a typical family party. She doesn't even know. She's getting T-bone steak flavor today. You don't so. even know that you're getting a delicious Easter treat. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts of the Lord, and receive from the God of Christ the Lord. I am full. I had to excuse myself from the table, but Peter is eating the rest of my plate. Stuffed shells are just one of those things that Peter can ah! eat and eat and eat. I'm so full, but I will have more shells by the time this day ends. Ah! It's only four o'clock. I know. You see this? Clean, empty table. You see this? Clean, empty sink. Clean, um, what is this called? No, well that's a counter, counter. Help your friends, your loved ones, and your spouses during holidays because Sarah and I just had a, a little conversation about how awesome it is that it's 4.52, it's like 20 minutes post dinner, and the dishes are done, food's get, it's like ready to get put away, we just need that to cool before we put it in the fridge. And like, at no point was Sarah and I were talking about like throughout, because we both helped on different things throughout the day, that like at no point were we stressed or overwhelmed about time or getting things done or it working too hard. Us, but yeah, but
but that like meal could have fed a whole whole clan. Yeah. Um, but now we're about to put on Easter parade, and it's barely five, and we have a whole evening. We're gonna go on a little adventure later with this little furry one. Go on a, a little bit of a. Don't want her to hear me because she would lose it. She just laid down because of her Easter dinner. Um, it's just a great celebration. I forgot to tell all of you something and I didn't even tell Sarah yet that I saw on my run on Park Avenue in downtown Winter Park. Today. Today. Hmm. A man holding a leash with a big old, big old bunny rabbit attached to it. Wait, like a real bunny? A real bunny. He was walking his bunny and he even bent over one point, like went down on his knees at one point and like called it and it hopped over. <laughs> To him, and I was like, "Oh, that's so sweet! I've never seen a bunny on a walk before." And I'm running, and as I'm running, I see another woman running the opposite direction, and she's like, "A bunny on a walk on Easter!" <laughs> and I was like, "Then it hit me!" And I was like, "Oh my god! Of all the days to see something I've never seen." You don't think that they did that for a special on Easter? The way this bunny was acting, the bunny gets walked, whether it's in their backyard or out in public. The way this man was Peter interacting. Won't let me get bunny. I don't think Sarah deeply truly wants a bunny and the bunny experiences bunnies. i've had in my life my room was themed bunnies when i was little themed bunnies not full of bunnies they are stinky and when they bite they bite i know my to friend take had chunks one off. in high school but i saw uh, for the first time in life a bunny being walked by its owner on easter that's pretty magical it wasn't a pink or a white bunny it was a black and brown bunny no, I think it was the Easter Bunny's cousin, like Fred Claus. Wait, I'm going to put in a picture here of when we met the biggest bunny in the world on Route 66. All right, Sarah and I are both out of our dressy clothes and in comfy clothes. We just took Eve for a walk. She was out cold before we went on the walk. And then we woke her up to go on the walk and he tried taking a photo. Here's a couple of the attempts. And she's exhausted because it's, she hasn't been out since it got like real hot today. So she's literally just standing here panting. If you lay on the tile, it'll feel better. I got that full holiday celebration belly going on. What do we say we're watching next? Holy Name's Mass. Holy Name Cathedral in Chicago's Mass. And then another movie of some sort. Sarah is going to pop the link down below to this video. It's just a photo of Bag End at the Shire from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. But this is just like a two hour mix of like music and background, background noise from The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. We listened to Harry Potter version. I think they've got Disney versions, but they're all on this like person's YouTube channel. So go check it out. What did we just get off? We get done doing for the past like two hours. A good, nice, long chat with Dom and Victoria. Yeah, it made me want to, and I'll, I'll run it, the idea past you. So we got to watch their wedding video is done and complete. Uh -huh. They're supposed to send us the actual file. Mm -hmm. And we'll ask their permission, Not probably, probably not for this vlog, but maybe in the mm -hmm. future, if we can post some of it or all of it. It's super good. We actually make a cameo in it that I was so, so <laughs> yeah, surprised. Yeah, it was a really cute clip of us, <laughs> Especially too. because the, the it was like a five-minute video, and it was mostly just them. Yeah. Like, like spotlighting was, yeah. their love and their day, which is the way it should be. But like yeah. all of a sudden, I was like, boom, cameo of Sarah and Peter <laughs> yeah. dancing. It was cool. But I kind of really like, beautiful too. Gets me in the mood to just watch random strangers' wedding we videos on YouTube. We used like, to do that. All we, did, the time. we did that with Katie before for like days yeah. and days. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I think we should do that. Yeah. All righty, April twelfth. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect. I'm in the middle of reading this New York Times article my friend sent me about Bob Iger and Disney and how ever he thought he was leaving, riding off in the sunset, but in actuality, he's not... His work is not done. No. And a, a lot of people think like, oh, he stepped down, he left the company. Guys, he didn't... Traditionally, when CEOs leave, they like leave, but he didn't... He stepped down as CEO, he stayed on as, the, as an executive chairman, so he's still part of the company until the end of next year. But what has happened, I've only like halfway through this article, is that like within weeks of him stepping down, he's already told Bob Chapek that like he is staying close on until this is done. Because yeah. he ran the company for 15 years and Bob Chapek only ran the theme parks. Yeah. So it's good to have good old Bobby Bob Iger. Yeah. Happy he's Easter, got, everybody. He's got good insights. He does. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>